Yes, you are. Um, my first of my special guests has joined me in the studio today. Uh, she made her appearance on the Kurdish Idol uh, at 16. She was the finale on that one. And now she's moved to London to pursue her dreams. We're going to play her first single on here on the show. Banna, welcome to the show. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Are you excited to be here? Very excited. Because yeah. this is my first ever interview in England. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you got a good one as well. Yeah, of Very course, nice. Very course. nice. How has it been like the transition from obviously living in Kurdistan mm -hmm. to living in London? Is there is it a big difference or is it similar? Is it? I mean, the city I come from is a not a big city like how London is. Yeah. Um. So just seeing moving into a big city was a little bit scary for me yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i obviously adjusted and um because of the music you have to make sacri sacrifices and yeah. i was ready ready for it all what did your parents say <laughs> they must have been scared. yeah yeah my mom was like scared because that was the first time i traveled a different continent yeah. ever in my life okay and um she was scared but she was confident because you know she raised me well and she trusts me so yeah, I think, you know, I always update her. We're always on FaceTime, even when I'm yeah. eating. I'm like, girl, watch me eat. Yeah. Is it a massive <laughs> time difference as well? Uh, no, just two hours. Just two hours. Yeah, yeah. So not that bad. Mm -hmm, so tell hours. us about, tell me about your experience on Kurdish Idol. What was that like, making it all the way to the final? Was it yeah. tough? Was it rigorous? Like, was it similar to like the stuff that they do over here, like the X Factors and the yeah. Idols over here? So yeah, tell me about your experience on that. Yeah, so growing up, I've always loved music and, you know, just playing the guitar and singing English songs. So I kind of learned how to sing from the artists from England and mm -hmm. the US and all these amazing artists and I just saw the advertisement for the Kurdish Idol program and I was like oh sounds like a fun opportunity <laughs> let me just go and sing one song and not expect anything because I was it was a Kurdish Idol I was supposed to sing in Kurdish yeah but I was not used to sing in Kurdish singing in Kurdish I was like Mm, let me just learn one Kurdish song and sing yeah. in English to see what comes out of it. So I ended up <laughs> gaining a lot of fame at the age of 16 and creating a career out of it. So I sang in Kurdish for six years and now here I am chasing my childhood dreams yeah. in London. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the one thing that you've learned from your journey? Being, still, being, still being so young, still being still very early in your career. What's the one thing that you've kind of learned from your journey now that you kind of wish you knew when you were younger or coming into it? I feel like just staying true to what you like and what you stand by as an artist and staying true to your art and to yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, that was the number one thing I learned because in the in the creative area a lot of things can Distract you or take you in a different path. Mm -hmm. So I've always tried to stay true to my vision my you know Whatever I believe in yeah. even if it takes time to take me where I, where I want to be I was patient and yeah, I just say be patient and believe in yourself What's the f like what's one of your favorite covers you've ever done covers? Yeah. I would say Crazy in Love by Beyonce. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's my favorite one. I always sing I it. I feel like everyone loves Beyonce. Of course. Come on. Are you going to be. see her in concert? I am. I didn't. Oh, no. You didn't <laughs> no, get a no I didn't. Just, there's people selling it on Twitter all yeah. the time. So if you, need, yeah, if you needed to go, then yeah. yeah. Um, what's the food like? Is it different from here? Do you like the food in London? Um, I'm always trying to see when people move to London, I'm yeah. always intrigued to know their own perspective, their <laughs> own, because I feel like people see it from a different lens. For sure. So how's your perspective on the food that we have here in London? For sure. The first day I came to London, I didn't know how to walk. Oh. I even like how to breathe because I was crying all the time like in my dreams are like, happening <laughs> so just you know the food it's good because there's food for every like there's every cuisine out there whatever you're craving whatever you're feeling so yeah the food is amazing I don't know if I'll ever be able to adjust when I go back home if I crave Chinese I'm like mm. Mm, I need to be in London to have Chinese all the time yeah. <laughs> but yeah stuff like that so yeah it's always you know whatever you have in mind whatever food you have in mind is available in London so we're about Love to play it. your latest single, Tangy. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about that song? Tangy is a summer banger. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is a summer okay. banger. I am so excited. I can't even believe that it's out because we've been working on it ever since last year. Yeah. And it's finally out. And I'm so excited for people to be able to hear it and enjoy it and vibe with it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm about to press play on it. Please. Let's go. Let's go. Follow at Represent Radio. At Represent Radio. Across all socials. So now from being on Kurdish Idol at the age of 16 to now having a whole album written by yourself, mm -hmm. 11 songs in the album at 18, 
what do you feel like you've learned or how do you feel like you've expanded on your writing skills as a writer as an artist yeah um so just after the program i was kind of like overwhelmed mm. on which direction i want to go artistically so i took a break for like a year or two um and then i started writing from my heart and experiences in Kur kurdish because my fan base was kurdish so i mm. had to kind of you know give something to them and in my head i was like i need to be local before i try to be international because you know i need my my fans support my country support mm -hmm. to do to be able to do anything so i kind of created like a mixture between the music that I really love and the Kurdish language. So the Kurdish songs that I have on my Spotify are like, you know, not very traditional and more like pop ish songs. So yeah, it was, I had full freedom because I, I even recorded in my closet, to be honest, some of the songs. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of have those songs, but I also have a lot of English songs coming because we've been, we've been working on it for a year now. Yeah. And an album or even two are coming coming in english in english yeah 2023 watch out for you <laughs> watch out for you yeah. i mean the year's only starting as well you only just dropped this when's the next single release um well you that's that? that's a secret i mean i'm not gonna say that you ain't gonna drop an exclusive <laughs> i can yeah i mean a song is coming what month i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Gotta gotta watch my socials. Watch, watch out socials. my socials. Yeah. Are you gonna send it over to me as well? So of can... course. Are you kidding? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you self taught yourself a uh, guitar. Yes. How was that? How long was that? How long? How long did that take you? And why the guitar as well? Why did you want to learn? The guitar? Yeah. So okay. So I've I grew up being a very big One Direction fan, mm -hmm. and I was inspired by Niall how he played the guitar, and I was like, oh my god, okay. I, you know, I want to replay their songs. Yeah. And I got the guitar and learned it through youtube and the first time youtube be the best teacher. yeah exactly the first song i learned how and like how to play was you and i by one direction okay yeah i was like oh my god i can play <laughs> a song and sing with it it's so fun yeah it's so fun i feel like guitar and pianos are probably like my two favorite instruments. the best ones the best yeah the best are you ready for this game so okay. a little birdie told me that you're a massive harry styles fan okay who told you that i'm not gonna say who same way you don't want to give me an exclusive <laughs> i'm not gonna tell you who my birdie is okay. and um yeah so we've got a game prepped for you it's just to see how big of a fan you are oh my god styles. stop yes so i've got four songs you can't have a you can't look at the screen okay i've got four songs i need to play for you and you have to guess which song i'm actually playing for you all right remember you can't look at the screen okay yeah are you ready i'm ready <laughs> This is I'm gonna scared. be so fun. <laughs> no, don't be scared. You'll be fine. Okay. Represent. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm. First one. <laughs> Sign of the times. Is it? Are you sure you didn't look at the screen? No, I swear I didn't. You didn't look at the screen. I swear I didn't. Because that was too quick. No, because I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was too quick. That was too. I feel like that might be too easy for you. Okay. Cool. We got another. Try one. again. That's just air sounds. I don't know this one. The fans are gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some time. Okay. Let's see if it comes. Oh, can't get you off my mind. Uh, late night talking. Yep. Oh, you reversed Absolutely it! Absolutely correct. Of course. Oh my god! I don't want to make it too easy. I was for like, you. I've never heard that song. Yeah, you definitely have. If you're a yeah. Harry Styles fan, you've definitely <laughs> heard that song. So that's two out of two. Okay. Even though I gave you some time. Okay. This one, you have to get this in under ten seconds. Are ten seconds. Yes. Let's go. Oh yeah, as it was. Four seconds left. Well done. You actually are really a big Harry Styles fan. I really am. You really are. And my first concert I ever attended attend to was, you know, Harry him Styles. performing. Yeah. This is the last one. Okay. You've got three out of three so far. This is the last one. Four, three, two. What is that? I'm sorry. I, lo I love that song, but I don't know what it is. I heard his voice. Love you heard it. his voice? But I don't know. You don't know what song this is? No. I finally caught. I finally got one. Yes, I finally got one. It is Harry Styles. Okay. Adore you. Yes. 
Harry. You tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna forgive you. <laughs> that's not. That's not nice. <laughs> So did you like the game then? I loved it. Thank you so much for coming Thank through. It's actually you. been amazing. And Thank yeah, you so tell much. us what's in store for you. Like people that's obviously first time listening to you. Are we gonna get are you supporting anyone? Artists? Are you gonna do a show? Or is um, this year just releasing singles and projects? Well, let's see how the reactions are gonna be, but at okay. the same time we have big plans of mm -hmm. you know performing and releasing amazing songs, just like bangers after bangers. Okay. We we have a lot of bangers and Do you know stars. what I love? I love the confidence. Really? Yeah, the confidence is there. <laughs> You're like, Sam, we've got bangers for you. Yeah, no, we uh, we have been working on this for a year now with um, PH7, uh, um, my producer, yeah. um, and my songwriter, Ali Tennant. And we're very excited to be coming with bangers. You know, just be, just get ready, you know, just get ready. Banner says get ready. Yeah. Thank you so ready. much for your time, Banner. Thank you for yeah. having me. Thank you for coming through your first... Amazing. Thank you for breaking this. <laughs> this is like, you know, your first interview in London. Yeah. So yeah, welcome and come back anytime. Thank you so much. It Absolutely. means a lot to me. Have a nice day. Snoo tap tap up next.